Positively Jacks, an exhibition highlighting young hospital patients at Art with a Heart in Healthcare, debuts this weekend. It's called Behind the Mask. Patients were able to communicate their thoughts through artwork during a time when they all had to learn to communicate differently because of the pandemic. And you can participate virtually this weekend, see so many of these great pieces of art. So to give us more information, here's Brooke McKinney, the artist in residence. Good morning to you, Brooke. Good morning. All right, so over the years, I have been able to see Art with a Heart in action at our local area hospitals, including Wolfson Children's <laughs> Hospital. So many amazing volunteers, so many amazing children. It's really just a wonderful thing that we have right here in our community. And I know you're proud of it. Yes, we are very proud. And we have seen over 100,000 patients since our founding in 2001. So for those, Brooke, that don't know about Art with a Heart in Healthcare, tell us, you know, the synopsis, the SparkNotes version of, of what it does. <laughs> so we provide um, group and individual bedside um, art sessions in the hospital for children and adults. Um, we are in multiple healthcare locations all around Jacksonville, and um, it's a, a healing fine art experience to help them get through their hospital stay and their illness. And I know that there's annual events, obviously, to keep the program running. This one is Behind the Mask. I think I know what we're talking about here, but if you can, explain that one. So this is actually our 11th show, Patient Art ex Exhibition with Mocha Jacksonville. Um, the children all created their own work of art using Procreate, a digital art software, and each mask they made uniquely their own and they designed them um, in a way that speaks to them as, as their unique personalities and interests. And then they have a thought bubble or a quote bubble that is expressing their inner thoughts and feelings. Yeah, and it's really great, great to give them an outlet, right? I mean, these are, these are children and families that are going through so much and it's a way to just let them release their inner feelings. Right, so the art process in itself is already a way to um, elevate their self-confidence and their self-expression. And then to have their art displayed in MoCA just gives them even more um, pride and accomplishment and makes, makes their hospital stay a lot more meaningful. And um, they, they are all just so excited and proud of their work. Mm -hmm. Tell me some of your favorite stories of being able to do art with so many amazing children. That is a really great question. Um, right, I put you on the spot so there. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, yeah. because I know that there's so many, but, but I, I know that it's got to stick out to you just to see their eyes light up as they get to express themselves. Yes. Um, I mean, when parents tell us this is the first time I've seen my kids smile or laugh the whole time that we've been in the hospital, that always feels really good because that, that means I'm doing my job. Yeah, yeah, certainly. So, so people that want to see this, they can, they can go on the website, they can sign up, they can be part of that virtual event and certainly have some fun. And they can also make a donation because... You do need donations to keep running, let's be honest. <laughs> yes, we are a nonprofit and we do rely on the generosity of others to sustain our program and to keep making a difference in all of these patients' lives. Um, and the opening is, um, we are welcome, welcoming everyone from our community to join us and you'll actually hear from patient artists and see all of their amazing artwork. Mm -hmm. And this has been going on for 21 years, so certainly it is rooted here in the community. Are, are volunteers still welcome? I, I know that COVID protocols have changed a lot of things. Maybe yeah. you're an artist, maybe you're just somewhat helpful at cultivating artists. <laughs> Can you yes. still volunteer right now? So the hospital is currently not um, mm -hmm. allowing volunteers. Um, we have a team of artists and residents who are contracted in the hospital and we are, we are still there and we are still there providing fine art experiences for patients and their families and helping them get through this time. So we're, right. we're really thankful to be there. Well, we are thankful to have you there for those kids and their families. We know it's so very important. Thank you so much for coming on. And I want to give Thank you that you website one more time. It's A-W-A-H, 
I H. A W A H I H dot org. Yeah, and um, feel free to register for the event that's happening Sunday at 2 p.m. All right, Brooke McKinney, appreciate your time. Thanks for what you do.